Greetings everybody. So today I wanted to show you all or watch with you all an episode of the Smurfs. It's a 20 minute episode so I don't imagine this video will go for more than half an hour. I'm going to do a symbolic breakdown of what's happening in the first ever Ed Smurf episode and we will see exactly who the Smurfs represent. So firstly I'll just do an intro um, the Smurfs live inside red mushrooms with white speckles. Very clearly they're Amanitas. A lot of people have claimed to have met on deep voyages through the Amanita, the blue entities who just so happen to be the same ones every time. Just like when you watch an episode of the Smurfs, it's always the same Smurf. So um, in the first ever ad episode of the first series, Sleepy, who's also later known in the Smurfs as Astro Smurf, <clears throat> which is interesting because the sleep state takes one to the astral realms, and there's no questions about that. I've done videos on this before as well, so you can go back to my previous content to find out more about the sleep realm and what occurs inside the soul of the person in that state. So Sleepy Smurf in this first episode, um, he takes a red liquid, which is very evidently Amanita tincture, and he goes to sleep, which is what Amanita does to you. And things start to happen. The things that he sets his intention to do all come to fruition so I would love to show you all this and little a few parts of it are quite like you won't hear me talk for like three minutes at some parts two minutes so just bear with me and we'll get through the slow parts and I'll just point out the symbolism that's deeply embedded into the Smurfs who live in the land of the lost or the lost village which is where everybody in this world is living Everybody's living in the land of the lost that have been taken out of the jungle and had their medicine stolen from them. So let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> So here we see Gargamel, who's dressed up in the black, same attire as the Jesuits, and he's bringing the floods to the people that live in the villages in the land of the lost. So in true history, <clears throat> in the history that we're living in, that's the Vatican priests that wear the black regalia and the black robes. Um, there's no one else in any other doctrine that has the power that they have that are also creating floods and all sorts of deluges upon the people in the land of the lost. So a lot of symbolism just here in the entry of the episode. And also I just want to point out um, we can see that the word Peyo comes up. Peyo is actually the guy who wrote the story of the Smurfs, which is quite similar to the word Peyote. This is where it all comes from. So it's the astral realms through substance. I must find those miserable little Smurfs, Azriel. Find them and rid the forest of their nasty, rotten, wretched little blue hides once and for all. And we can see he's clearly pouring the red tincture into the cauldron. I wonder what that is. If this creation of my sheer genius works, as it should, Asriel, I'll be able to find those horrible little Smurfs with no problem. 
It's ready, Azriel! Now I'll find out exactly where those Smurfs are. Show me, oh magic crystal ball, where to find the most miserable creatures of all. And so Gargamel, he is wanting throughout the whole period of the Smurfs, he is wanting to extract, to capture the Smurfs, the Smurfs, and extract the Smurf essence so that he can be the most powerful wizard in the world. So if the Smurfs live inside the Amanitas, and he wants to extract the Smurf essence, that would be the Muscimol, that is the active psych the psychoactive compound inside it that sends you to the astral realms to receive your messages, or to fulfill your destiny, or to fulfill your intentions that you desire upon <clears throat> the usage of the power plant. What's this? No, 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 I mean the Smurfs! Ah, their village. <coughs> but, but where are the Smurfs? Happy birthday, yo yo! Happy birthday, yo yo! Happy birthday, dear dreamy! Happy birthday, yo yo! Yay! Yay! I hate Smurf days! Not yet, really. Make a wish and blow out the candles, Dreamy. I wish? I wish I could fly through a new world no Smurf has ever seen. <sighs> Yay! Yay! Here I go! So he wishes he could fly to a new world that no Smurf has ever seen. Remember that. Fly to a strange new world! Ah. Oh. Smurf anything in the whole wide world to be a space traveler. Space traveler. Oh, How do you do I that? Got it. Now I need a Smurfy landing. Whoa! Oh, I did it! I'm flying. So here's his first attempt at going to outer space in a physical way. Oh, I'm not so here's symbolism that we can't get to outer world realms through physical modality. Oh, that was a short flight, but it was a smurfy landing. <laughs> yeah, well, just keep on laughing because I'm gonna fly to the stars yet. He's adamant to get to the stars. So Papa Smurf is wearing the red hat and the red pants, so very, very uh, reminiscent of the Siberian shamans who administered the Amanita magic. And he's the one that everyone looks up to in the Smurfs, and he's the one that always has the knowledge, so very, very shamanic symbolism there in itself. <laughs> the Siberian shaman that used the broom to sweep the chimney they when the when the doors were packed up with snow in Siberia they couldn't get through the front door so they used the broom to empty out the chimney and they would make an entrance in that way so this is his second second attempt at making it to outer worlds in a physical form he won't make it hey, I'm Another Smurfy landing! <laughs> Look at this Smurf sitting on top of the Ageric or the Amanita. He looks really euphoric, doesn't he? Just wait! You'll see! I'll smurf to the stars someday! I think! I can make a pair of wings and... Oh no! I won't smurf either! Oh! 
Boy, oh boy, oh boy. At this rate, I'll never get to the stars. So here's another one. So Azrael, who's Gargamel's eagle, ga evil Gargamel's cat, just tried to take um, Sleepy Smurf away. So Azrael in Judaism, Islam, and Sikhism is the angel of death who takes souls to other dimensions. So do we see a little bit of symbolism here in regards to Amanita? You see it in every culture. Every culture has very deeply endowed symbolism behind the Amanita, whether it be through a, uh, some sombre deity. It's always in there and it's just very evident. So Azrael would pick the souls of the people to um, send to other um, worlds through a falling leaf that would fall and their name would be on the leaf so isn't it interesting just after Azrael tried to take him that the leaf would lead us to this scene that's it Smurfette follow the ship to smuggle to the stars he receives the message we're, we're getting closer Azrael I can feel it the Smurfs are almost mine <laughs> oh. Azrael my crystal ball <laughs> Ah, oh, my crystal ball. It, it's safe. It's safe. Hello, Harmony! Oh, sorry. Hear ye! Hear ye! Uh, excuse me. <laughs> this is a Smurf boy. Astro Smurf announces the unveiling of his new flying ship. All Smurfs are invited to watch his Smurf Day wish come true when he Smurfs off to the stars. Uh, I'm sorry. It's a very smurfy flying ship, Astro Smurf. But how does it work? Pedal power, Papa Smurf. Pedals turn the propeller, which lifts the ship into the air, and Smurfs beat to the stars. A space waste. I predict it will never work. Never, never, never. Oh, Smurf up your face, me no brainy. Well, good luck, Astro Smurf. Have a safe trip. Goodbye. Real nice breeze. Yeah, this is real. Wait a minute. I hate nice breezes. to a smurf and he'll never be happy until he can fly to the stars but alas he would never be happy until he finds his way connected to the astral realms can never what be truth in this but that was his smurf day wish oh yeah and all smurf day wishes come true don't they papa smurf yes that's been the way of the smurfs for as long as i can remember Since what do you think that would be 543 yeah. years right papa smurf papa smurf we have to to make his wish come true. Yes, Smurfette. And I have an idea that might work. You really think my ship will work now, Papa Smurf? Andy Smurf checked it over and fixed everything that was wrong. And I can Smurf off of the stars right now? Yes. But first, you must take the special raspberry potion that will give you strength on your long journey. <laughs> and what do we think that is? The 
propellers turning. Quick, send up the smoke clouds and start rocking the ship. Tell me, clumsy, where were you when brains were handed out? Where was I? Uh, gee, uh, I don't know. But maybe I was with you, huh, Brain? <laughs> I hate smoke. My ship's moving. I'm smurfed off. I'm on my way to the star. <sighs> What's going on? I feel so sleepy. Must be the altitude. Oh, I mustn't. So what other type of medicine would you drink that's red <clears throat> given to you from Moscomol that live in the Amanitas that would send you to sleep? You got it. It stopped. He's asleep. The raspberry potion worked. Hurry, get Astro Smurf out of there and let's take the ship apart. <laughs> It's all apart, Papa Smurf. What do we do with the pieces? Tomorrow, we take them to a secret spot whose whereabouts only I, Smurf. So oh, even the physical Daddy spaceship Smurf. couldn't take I him to space. It's not something that could ever happen. It's all while our lands, that sort of nasty stuff. Add four grains of euphoria with the boiling juice of the mandrake root. Ah, now euphoria. to try it out. Oh, the formula works! Oh, oh, oh the Smurfs are all <laughs> there they are again, Asriel. Don't they look good enough to eat? <laughs> Come on, we won't lose them this time. <laughs> Is it much further, Papa Smurf? Not far now. And it's funny how Papa Smurf, who's the shaman, a lot of the shamans would use Amanita for long journeys because it's said that it can make an extremely long journey seem not far now, not far at all, compared to if you did it sober. Oh my, how much further, Papa Smurf? Not far now. This isn't funny. How much further, Papa Smurf? Not far now. It's just full of shamanic symbolism. <gasps> is it much further, Papa Smurf? Yes, it is! But this volcano is extinct. Oh, of course! Extinct! Come on, let's get this smurf on the road. We have work to do. Work, work, work. I hate work. Those miserable, rotten, disgusting smurfs crossed here, Azriel. Look at their revolting little footprints. Come on, they're within our grasp now. <laughs> Come on, Azriel! No, you miserable cat, Azriel! How dare you! No! One of these days, Azriel, I'm... I'm going to turn you into a cat for a pillow! Why do we have to smurf our brains out while sleeping Astro Smurf here sleeps? This is for the Smurfs. Wait a second, Grouchy! Do you know what's green, red, and yellow? With big eyes and long teeth? No, what? I don't know either, but it's crawling up your hair! Blech! I hate bugs! <laughs> Show me your magic crystal ball. Where are the most dis- Disgusting creatures of all. So, they're inside the old volcano. That's not far from here. And it's the perfect spot to finally put an end to those mis- And it's interesting how Gargamel always references the Moscomol, or the Smurfs, which are the essence in the Amanita, to be disgusting and despicable and just really negative connotations to it, which is the standard norm in society. Miserable little creatures. <laughs>
When Astro Smurf wakens, he'll think he's on another planet. And we want to be ready, so that's why I Smurf this magical potion that will turn us all into Smurfs. Smurfs? Uh, what's a Smurf, Papa Smurf? I'll show you, Thumbsy. Star juice. So now we're seeing all of the Amanita essence, the Muscimol, come together to fulfill the wishes of the user through intention of um, what this, what what the desire is for the person who wants to have a desired outcome of the substance. So you always set intentions with this one because she likes to be asked questions. She likes to be asked to show you what you need to be shown. And the muscimol works very, um, very strongly to take us to where we need to be through her. Swoof! I'm Grandpa Swoof! Uh, where am I? Oh! I'm on another planet! This is Smurf Oh, oh yeah! And look at him! He really thinks he's on another planet! <laughs> yep! Boy, is he dumb! I wonder where he was when the beans were handed out! <laughs> that means clumsy brains! Oh, yeah! Well, that's what I meant! Bean brain! Yep, yep! Wonder if anyone lives here! Guess that is and the... Energy of the Smurfs, whilst the person's in there dream realm is very cheeky which is the most commonly reported attribute of the character of the blue entities that work through the Amanita so they really deeply put this symbolism in and this is this is targeted to a very young audience I mean I remember I had a smurf toy when I was two years old one years old like I had a smurf toy it was my favorite toy so this is not an adult target audience. This is child target audience. Me, friend, come in big ship. Room, 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 room. Come meet Grandpa Swoof, king of all swoofs. Say, uh, could you unhook my shorts first? That would be nice. Yeah. Where you come from? From a, a, a planet called Earth, Grandpa Swoop? You friend or foe? Oh, me, big friend, big friend. Then we have council meeting and consider this. Stay here. Oh, I wonder what you're going to do to me. Excuse me. We're almost there, Asriel. We're almost there. Gargamel, we better tell Papa. Yeah, and is he going to be mad? Smurf, we have reached a decision. Oh? We decide you are friend. Welcome to Planet Swoof. Oh, thanks, Grandpa Swoof. Prepare feast to honor Astro Smurf. Yay! Yay! Ceremony. Rite of Passage, Ceremony. Sleep soon. Need plenty strength to fly back to home planet tomorrow. Oh, but I'm never gonna fly back to Earth. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here forever. Forever? Notice that? The symbolism of how wonderful it is that you just never want to leave there. But you must go. Grandpa Smooth! Grandpa Smooth! <laughs> Where? Gargamel is here. Astro Smurf mustn't see him or he'll know he's still on Earth. But that's only half our worries. Astro Smurf likes the planet so much, he wants to stay here forever. I must think of a plan. I know they're nearby, Azrael. I can smell them. I can feel them. I can smell them. Amanita's known Let to be the most beautiful smells What's this? Day. Those aren't Smurfs! <laughs> How Gargamel found us, I don't know. 
but I think he's about to feel a bit under the weather. Crystal ball! It's destroyed! No, I'll never find the Smurfs! And a really interesting symbolic reference here to the rain. Um, shamanic tribes, the original people, we, what we come from, we all knew that fungus and forests call the rain. That's why they're called rainforests. Um, and so even four years ago, the mainstream science community came out and said, well, it's not just frogs and the trees that call the rain. We've now proven that fungus brings the rain. So we just saw the Smurf, who is the Moskimol inside the Amanita. We just saw the capability there of bringing the rain. So this is not made from somebody that just had a great idea and wanted to put it into a TV show. This is how they bring us truth and they hide it from us. Because when you put the truth in front of people's faces, that is the best way to make them not be able to find the truth. As long as you put it into cartoons, people would think you were crazy for believing any of this stuff was something that happened in the natural world. <laughs> Slimy lizard tongues! My seat is burnt to a crisp, I'm soaking wet, and my crystal ball is shattered! What else can go wrong? <coughs> Something tells me Papa Smurf is behind this, Azriel! <coughs> Azriel, get off my face! You, you mangy bag of fur! Let's get out of here! Ouch! Now, to become spoof, you must prove courage and skill. Okay! But what do I have to smurf? After we spin you around, you must smooth spear right into that bullseye. What bullseye? I can't see a thing! It is the way of the spoof. symbolism about the capabilities of Amanita you can do anything we are inherently capable of doing anything we put our mind to and it's through the Amanita that she shows us this and she gives us courage and strength and skill so a lot of people they report a lot of artists they report their style of art completely changing musicians report that their music style completely changes and doesn't matter what you do it's got a got a um a ability to do such a thing to completely change us in such a m strong beautiful way hello this hole isn't even greased isn't greased clumsy oh oh uh i i thought greedy was gonna do that oh uh, yeah i did me i thought and it's the symbol of the apple from the middle of the garden. So refer to my previous posts about the symbolism of the apple being the Amanita. It's irrefutable, undebatable. It's the Amanita is the apple from the middle of the garden of Eden. There's no questions about it. A grouchy smurf the pole. Lazy every religion was gonna do it. that. <laughs> or every ancient spiritual tradition. You must now swim across lake. Okay. I'm a good swimmer! Carrying that rock! That rock? But that's act so smurfly impossible! Oh, boo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Too bad! Boo-hoo! Say, you look familiar! Haven't I seen you someplace before? Who, oh, me, dear sir? No, I was just... I'm wasting! You want to be swoof? You swim across the lake with rock! Huh? Oh, this is gonna be easy! Is this some kind of a joke? Oh, that bird! You can 
do anything that she shows you. No wonder! It's pumice stone! There is one final test, Astro Smurf. I'm ready! You must prove you can live harsh life of swoops. You must cook all meals, wash dishes, sweep, clean, and scrub. And you must kneel in respect before every swoop you meet. And gas is needed for faith. But, and all you can eat is wild grass. And you can never with sore sing. No matter how happy you are. And no holidays, including Smoof Moss and St. Smoofentine's Day. So, you must do all these things to be Smoof. Well, on second thought, uh, maybe I'd better be Smoofing back to Earth. Ah. <sighs> What's going on? I feel so sleepy. Oh, I mustn't. Oh, uh... He's asleep. The raspberry potion's working again. We better smurf to it. Magic. Oh, goody. There is nothing like a smurf. Nothing in the world. I hate this. Oh, how much for the pop smurf? Oh, smurf up. Where... where am I? Long live Astro Smurf! Three cheers for Astro Smurf! Hooray! I'm home! I'm home! It was Smurf-tastic, Papa Smurf! I have been to a planet inhabited by swoofs! Swoofs? Well, I never... They wanted me to stay, but I was feeling homesick, so I came back! You're not thinking of going away again, are you? Well, the thought of flying to other planets is tempting, but I'll never be as happy as I am here. There's no place like home! And so through the Amanita, you can be in so much misery that you just need an escape to outer worlds, and she brings you back where you don't need that anymore. She shows you what you need to be shown, for external use only, and when you come back, you have clarity, you have strength, you have skill, you have courage, and you have comfort. So could it be that they're taking this from us and hiding it from us? Ah. Putting it into the cartoons. Yo! This is Papa Smurf's handiwork, but he'll pay for it. He'll pay double. Yo! So the problem is, is that divine medicine has been programmed out of us and we desire things like alcohol and cigarettes and just terrible food and terrible lifestyle and terrible choices. And the solution is if we use such a medicine that can show us that addiction isn't necessary, that misery isn't necessary as well as healing so many internal ailments and as well as healing so many f internal and external physical problems through this one mushroom can change the life of so many people. And I've already got so many people who are messaging me who have purchased supplies, who've um, just had great testimonies about how, how much it's changed their lives already. And I'm actually just compiling a lot of that information on how much it's changed people's life and I'll be doing a presentation on that in the not so distant future. So I hope that you enjoyed watching the Smurfs together. Um, it was the last thing I ever thought I'd be doing in my life. However, the problem is, is that it's been taken from us. The solution is go to reindeeramanita.com because what I'm doing is for you people. I want you all to experience what a world of people once experienced, our ancestors, the beautiful traditions of the ancient ceremonies and rites of passages of the world that we live are still here. So I hope you all enjoyed.